Part 2 of our free NAS build will be the CPU and heatsink installation. The first thing that we need to do is remove the plastic plate that protects the pins for the CPU socket on the motherboard. To do that all we need to do is release the retention bracket. All you have to do is press down and pull out on the locking arm that holds the bracket in place and then easily pull out plastic piece. The CPU itself will only fit in the socket one way. There are two small divots on the sides of the CPU which will be towards the back side of the motherboard where the input output ports are. All you need to do is gently drop the CPU in place and pull down the retaining bracket and lock the arm in place. As you're pulling the lever down and the bracket tightens, it may sound like it's hurting the CPU, but don't worry, it's not. Another tip is that on the CPU there is a small gold arrow or triangle in the corner, which corresponds with a small triangle that's on the bracket you can see there in the bottom right. I decided to use some aftermarket thermal paste, some Arctic Silver 5, however, the heat sink that comes with the CPU already comes with pre-applied thermal paste, which would be just fine. Prior to this application, I removed the thermal paste that came on the heat sink. I obviously didn't show that part in the video. If you decide to clean the thermal paste off the heat sink and use some aftermarket thermal paste, I highly recommend using the Arctic Silver Arctic Clean kit for removing the thermal paste and purifying the surfaces. The stock Intel CPU cooler and heatsink is very easy to install. Prior to snapping it into place, I recommend taking each one of those black studs and turning them to the left to make sure that they are in the loosened position so that the anchors can be easily pressed through and secured. This installation is quite easy. All you need to do is press each one of these four corners down until it clicks through and twist it to the right and it'll lock the anchor into place. After you press in one of the corners you'll want to jump to the complete opposite side and press that corner in and secure it, especially if you're using aftermarket paste so the thermal paste will spread out evenly. It's not as crucial if you're using the stock paste. Thanks for watching.